Back in the 1990s, we finally got BT corn. Oh, it was wonderful. All the corn being raised was what's now called conventional corn. We just called it corn then. And getting that BT protection for European corn borers was a huge game changer because it's so hard to time those applications. Now we've got traits like BT Double Pro that has a stack of BTs to try to prevent resistance. That's a great thing. And we really haven't had big problems with corn borer resistance. Now we're starting to add more BTs that can help with other bugs. So there's a newer trait called Tricepta that's out that also adds the Viptera protection. So you've got broad Lepidoptera protection, not just corn borer protection anymore out in cornfields. So you may say, okay, well, I could just plant conventional corn, or I could plant one of these BTs for above ground protection. How do I make that decision? Well, how I always make decisions is one thing, economics. It's simple economics. How much more is it going to cost on a per acre basis? Not per bag, because keep in mind, you're not planting a bag to the acre. And the lower your population, the lower the cost difference is going to be. So let's just say that my conventional corn is going to be $140 and my VT double is going to be $200. Well, it's $60. You go, whoa, 60 bucks, that's a lot of money. Okay, well, let's say it's one third of a bag to the acre just for easy figuring. Now you're talking $20, okay? And then you do the math. If let's say it's $3 corn, you got to have a about seven bushels difference there. All right, is it going to be worth seven bushels to you to get that European corn borer protection? Is it going to be worth seven bushels to get other insect protection? That's what you have to weigh out. Well, you certainly do. And then the other thing is not just the cost of what insecticide is going to be. Because I talk to farmers all over who say, well, I can buy insecticide for just a few bucks anymore. That's not so bad. But think about the timing of when these bugs are going to come. And if you've got to hire a plane, all of a sudden now you're talking another $10 an acre just for the plane, not to mention the insecticide that you're going to use. And then here's the other thing. You've got to scout that field all through the season every week, watching for egg masses, because as soon as you see those egg masses pop up, you're gonna to have to be treating pretty quick before those bugs get into your plant. So if you're in an area that has above ground pest problems that are worms that are gonna burrow into that stock, I think you've got a great opportunity here for a good return on investment with the BT traits. And then don't forget, you have Roundup tolerance. Being able to spray Roundup out there saves you a tremendous amount of money versus, let's say, Accent, for example, to rescue grass. And yes, even if Roundup doesn't kill all your broadleaves anymore, it certainly still kills some, and it absolutely kills all the grass that's out there. Now that Roundup's at its lowest price in history on a net basis, that's hard to pass up. And to me, that's worth another five to ten dollars an acre. So by the time I figure it, I only probably need to gain on average two, three, maybe four bushels because of that insecticide trait and the money that I'm spending. That to me, it's worth it on our farm. But you have to make that decision on yours. Well, one of the things that may sway your decision is if you have our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed?